Hey guys and welcome to this video on Hugh Jackman's yellow Wolverine costume that's just been revealed in Deadpool 3 set photos. Before we get started make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button to stay up to date with all the movie news we have going on around here. So we're going to jump into the screen round article here and we're going to have a look at this Wolverine costume. This is super exciting guys, I never thought that Hugh Jackman would come back to play Wolverine again. He said that he was done and uh, it appears that he's now back in Deadpool 3 which is super exciting. So let's have a look at this costume. The first look at Hugh Jackman finally wearing Wolverine's iconic yellow costume from the comics is revealed by new Deadpool 3 set photo. So, Hugh Jackman shares the first look of him wearing Wolverine's iconic yellow costume in Deadpool 3. With a set photo, uh, Jackman joins Ryan Reynolds and a star-studded cast in Deadpool 3. The movie marks the first time Wolverine will be seen in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and Jackman is dressing up for the occasion with the actor confirming Deadpool 3's Wolverine yellow costume rumours with the first look at the new suit. So yeah, this is super exciting. Whether Hugh Jackman's going to go on to continue to play Wolverine into the future within the MCU, that's still to be seen. But just the fact that we're getting him in Deadpool 3 is super exciting because uh, Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman, their chemistry that they have is just super, super great. And I, you know, it's a film that I really cannot wait to see. So Jackman shared on his Instagram stories the first look at himself in Wolverine's yellow costume alongside Reynolds uh, Reynolds in Marvel Studios' Deadpool 3. So let's go down and have a look at this costume here. So yeah, this is the costume that we have here, guys. Um, it looks a little bit different from what you see in the comic, comic books, but obviously you can't um, adapt this straight from the comic books because it would look rather ridiculous. Like, skin-tight latex in a film just wouldn't be suitable. So that you can see that they've made some adaptations. Um, alongside the kind of the Deadpool suit it looks like kind of roughly the same material same kind of structure build but it's really really cool um seeing these two characters like this standing side by side in the same movie is just such a cool image to see guys so uh yeah let's have a look so the Hugh Jackman obviously this is his um Instagram here and he's posted up the picture here and then below we've got little emojis with uh Deadpool and uh, Wolverine underneath each character which is pretty cool yeah so, uh, Jackman's yellow Wolverine costume is what every X-Men fan dreamed of, with the actor looking amazing in the pitch-perfect recreation of the mutant's signature comic book costume. The only difference between the comics and Wolverine's yellow costume for Deadpool 3 is that the movie suit includes sleeves. How can you cover up um, Hugh Jackman's guns, man? You've got to have, you know, you've got to have the arms out, the shredded arms, the muscles, the guns. <laughs> yeah, but it is what it is. Yeah, it's, his costume still looks cool. Whether it's got sleeves or not, it's not going to make a difference to the story, so... Doesn't really, doesn't really matter too much. So, why why Wolverine is in his yellow X-Men costume? So, the, MC, the MCU is known for giving characters their comic book accurate suits, a trend that has become all the more common in recent years. Marvel Studio president Kevin Feige knows how much fans have wanted Jackman, in, uh, Jackman to wear Wolverine's yellow suit in the movie. So, yeah, um, obviously, Kevin Feige is very, very good at doing fan service. He sort of he's in the zeitgeist of what kind of Marvel fans want from movies. Obviously, uh, John Krasinski was a fan casting. He was put into a movie as uh, Mr. Fantastic. Um, and then there was um, the Avengers Assemble line that Captain America hadn't said in any of the films. He obviously he put that into uh, the Infinity War movie. And uh, yeah, just kind of like these little kind of um, what, what do you call them? Like these little Easter eggs and kind of uh, fan service things that Kevin Feige likes to put into the movies, which is really cool. Obviously, the yellow suit is something that people have been clamoring for for a long time. In the Wolverine movie, there was a tease where Jackman opened up a case and, uh, you know, the yellow suit was in there, but he never actually wore it. So Wolverine being in uh, the yellow X-Men suit does not conflict with Logan. As Jackman confirmed, Deadpool 3 includes time travel. So Deadpool 3 is rumored to feature characters from all over the Fox's Marvel uh all over the Fox Marvel franchises, sorry, includes the Fantastic Four from director Tim Story's movies, Ben Affleck's Daredevil, several X-Men characters and more. There appears to have been confirmed the recent announcement that Jennifer Garner is coming back as Elektra um, in Deadpool 3, and after nearly 20 years since she last played the role. Yeah, so I, I thought that in Ben Affleck's Daredevil, um, the Elektra character was actually pretty awesome. Like, it was really cool to, to see her to come back, actually. And um, Ben Affleck's Daredevil popping up is kind of uh, kind of cool as well. I'm not going to lie. Like, that movie was obviously terrible. But, you know, there's this kind of trend at the moment with bringing back old characters. Obviously, we have Michael Keaton's Batman come back in The Flash. Uh, and then we've got Elektra coming back. We've got Wolverine coming. So we've got, you know, different old characters coming back, which is kind of cool. The movie is set to be a, uh, a crowd pleaser with plenty of multiverse character appearances. The problem is, though, 
with these kind of movies, you don't want to fall into the trap of just being kind of just meaningless fan service. You can have fan service is a really good tool when it's used properly. Um, but just to have like loads of random cameos of people just popping up here and there that has no relevance to the story, it just becomes visual noise and it doesn't really add to anything. And it's kind of like, oh, look at this character. Oh, look at this character, even though it has no relevance to what's going on on the screen. So hopefully they don't fall into that trap. Hopefully these cameos of older characters actually um, lend themselves to the movie and what's being portrayed on screen at the same time. So um, yeah, like Jackman's Wolverine, they finally leave uh, leather suits behind to embrace their iconic comic book costumes. The actor would not be back in the role after Logan's brilliant ending if Jackman was not going to be uh, if Jackman was not going to places he had never been with the character. Joining the MCU with Wolverine's classic yellow suit is a solid first step for Jackman returning in Deadpool three. So yeah, let's go back and have a look at that in a picture again. So yeah, it's really really cool the contrast of the yellow to the red. I think I think it's just fantastic the way that obviously just the, the really nice colors of contrast between the two suits. I don't know if it's just me, but the material looks very similar on both suits as well, like the structure and the build of the suits. But yeah, it looks super, super cool. Whether he's going to be wearing the the head the headpiece that comes with the yellow suit, that's to be seen. Then there may be more um, set photos that get released where we see the head the headpiece to the suit as well. I don't know if he's going to be wearing that in the film, so that's, that's yet to be determined. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where we are at the moment with the uh, the yellow suit being shown on the set of Deadpool 3. Guys, jump down to the comment section. Let me know if you're excited, um, you know, excited for this Deadpool 3 movie. Do you, do you care about costumes? Do they make a difference to you? Are you excited to see the yellow suit back in action from the comic books and the animated series? Just jump down in the comment section, guys. Let me know what you think. And I will see you soon.